Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 17th of 2022. Well, it is titled Chameleon One Molecular Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, this is a dark, dusty area in the constellation of the chameleon and named after that direction in the sky in which it happens to be located. A, a molecular cloud is a dark area uh, that contains dense, denser material. Now, still not dense compared to what we think of on Earth, but denser compared to the complete vacuum of space. And when we see a lot of this material, a molecular cloud can be very dense and can block out the light from behind it. So we see these very dark areas and dark patches here. And it's not that there's no material there, simply that we cannot see through them into the regions behind it. So as you look at the rest of the image and you see stars scattered around and filling the sky, there know that there are still just as many behind those parts of the molecular cloud that we simply cannot see because there is so much material in between us and those stars. Now again, it is not very dense. It is just that there is a lot of material spread out over many light years that will then fill that area. So it's kind of like looking through a forest, even though the trees are not in every place, no matter where you look, eventually your line of sight reaches a tree, and you can't see through the edge of the forest. And it's a very similar thing here with the dust particles filling this vast area. Now we also see a number of blue areas, uh, one just a little bit to the left of center and one down towards the lower left. And those blue areas are reflection nebulae. Reflection nebulae occur when dust clouds reflect light off of stars. And they reflect the, primarily the blue light. They're much better at scattering blue light than red, the longer wavelength red lights. And therefore, we see them as very blue in the sky. And we see that here where the dust is not quite as dense as it is in the dark, dark regions. Now around the dusty areas, if you look around the edge of them, you notice that a lot of the stars look much redder than the stars typically uh, just out in the sky. Uh, the dust also serves not only to dim and block out the light from stars, but to turn them a little bit redder. And that's because again, it's the same effect as the um, reflection nebula that we looked at in that the material is better at scattering the blue light. So when the light from the star passes through the dust, the blue light tends to get scattered out and the red lights are what happen to come through. So the denser the dust that we can still see a star through, the redder that star is going to appear. So here we get to see this star forming region uh, right around the constellation of the chameleon. So that was our picture of the day for February 17th of 2022. It was titled Chameleon One Molecular Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be east of Sirius. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.